Chapter 14 The remaining tribes of Israel inherited land in Canaan as allotted by Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the tribal leaders. These nine and a half tribes received their inheritance by means of sacred lots, in accordance with the Lord's command through Moses. Moses had already given an inheritance of land to the two and a half tribes on the east side of the Jordan River. The tribe of Joseph had become two separate tribes, Manasseh and Ephraim. And the Levites were given no land at all, only towns to live in, and the surrounding pasture lands for their flocks and herds. So the distribution of the land was in strict accordance with the Lord's instructions to Moses. A delegation from the tribe of Judah, led by Caleb, son of Jephunneh the Kenizzite, came to Joshua at Gilgal. Caleb said to Joshua, Remember what the Lord said to Moses, the man of God, about you and me when we were at Kadesh Barnea. I was forty years old when Moses, the servant of the Lord, sent me from Kadesh Barnea to explore the land of Canaan. I returned and gave from my heart a good report. But my brothers who went with me frightened the people and discouraged them from entering the promised land. For my part, I followed the Lord my God completely. So that day Moses promised me, The land of Canaan on which you were just walking will be your special possession and that of your descendants forever, because you wholeheartedly followed the Lord my God. Now, as you can see, the Lord has kept me alive and well as he promised for all these forty-five years since Moses made this promise even while Israel wandered in the wilderness. Today I am eighty-five years old. I am as strong now as I was when Moses sent me on that journey, and I can still travel and fight as well as I could then. So I'm asking you to give me the hill country that the Lord promised me. You'll remember that as scouts we found the Anakites living there in great walled cities. But if the Lord is with me, I will drive them out of the land just as the Lord said." So Joshua blessed Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and gave Hebron to him as an inheritance. Hebron still belongs to the descendants of Caleb, son of Jephunneh, the Kenizzite, because he wholeheartedly followed the Lord, the God of Israel. Previously Hebron had been called Kiriath Arba. It had been named after Arba, a great hero of the Anakites. And the land had rest from war.